Our story begins when an engineer had a wild idea of sticking some garden hose to the bottom of a running shoe. This masterpiece gave rise to a billion-dollar empire, and the Swiss running brand On Running was born. Join us as we dive into how a childhood love of running sparked a fascination with creating a different sort of running experience, and how tennis legend Roger Federer propelled On Running into a force to be reckoned with. Let's get started. When On Running co-founder Olivier Bernhard was a child, running made him feel whole. The experience of moving his body and running gave him a sense of belonging and place, and eventually he would grow up to be a pro Swiss athlete. Bernhard was sponsored by Nike, and he first approached the company with the idea of bringing a different feel to life in a running shoe. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, he was rejected, and that resulted in his beginning his own project. He mused over creating a running shoe shoe that would revolutionize the sport he loved so much. Pairing his athletic background with a deep understanding of a runner's needs, he worked tirelessly to bring this vision to life. The first model of On was so unconventional that it was nicknamed Frankenstein by its creators. Bernhard says he glued pieces of a garden hose to a traditional running shoe to create a softer landing and a springboard-like mechanism to push off from while in motion. Sort of like shocks on a car. It might have looked a bit slapdash when he put the sample together, but the sensation when using the shoe was exactly what he was looking for. When Bernhard finally tested the prototype of the revolutionary shoe, he knew instantly that they had achieved something special. It was something I never felt before, he exclaimed. The sensation that the shoe provided was so powerful that it prompted him to pursue this venture with an unwavering determination. It might have been an aesthetic disaster, but it's performance left the founders astounded. The shoe felt unusually comfortable, as if one were navigating a mountain bike or skiing down a hill, making the inception of a unique running experience. Despite its initial unattractiveness, the trio saw potential in the shoe. It served as a golden opportunity to challenge the status quo of the running shoe industry, dominated by giants like Nike and Adidas. In January 2010, On Holding AG was born in Zurich. The founders began wooing joggers who didn't mind paying a premium for a superior running experience. But Bernhard knew that he needed a team and enlisted the help of two experts, Casper Capetti and David Aleman, who shared his vision. Their experience at the global management consulting firm McKinsey provided the business acumen necessary to bring the game-changing shoe to the world. Fast forward to a decade later, On has emerged from the pandemic stronger than ever. The company, once a humble startup, now enjoys a global following with an impressive revenue growth of 59% in 2020, reaching over $425 million. In the first half of 2021 alone, On's net sales surged by 85% compared to the same period in 2020. This swift growth led to the firm's highly successful IPO, pushing the founder's collective net worth to an astounding $1.8 billion. Not too shabby for a shoe that was born out of a garden hose, but early challenges were inevitable. Their first few shoes were less than perfect, squeaky, and not visually appealing. But they learned, iterated, and soon, the Cloud Racer was born. Taking it to ISPO, Europe's largest sports gear exhibition, On managed to secure the gold award. This victory was an unexpected but welcome push, providing the validation and encouragement they needed. On initially began with a focus on three countries, Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. But after the expo, they were dealing with 19 countries. Suddenly, they had orders for 2,000 pairs of cloud racers, a daunting challenge since the shoes were yet to be manufactured. The cycle of production and sales in the shoe business is a risky one, especially for a startup. Paying up front for production and waiting for payments to come in post-sales can take a toll on your cash flow. On faced that exact challenge but were fortunate to have the support of angel investors who infused much needed capital. On's initial expansion was difficult. The brand struggled to convince retailers and end consumers. Traditional sales presentations didn't yield the results the brand expected, so On shifted gears. The brand began running with potential customers and retailers, letting them experience their shoes firsthand, addressing their questions, and answering their curiosity about the technology. This experience 
digital marketing approach was the game changer. They were no longer selling, but were letting the product speak for itself. Going public was about entering the big league, operating under the same financial rules as industry leaders, and ensuring the sustainability of the brand's growth. Importantly, it gave on the resources to continue achieving their dreams, including helping more athletes reach the Olympics. By 2014, On witnessed Nikola Spirig, an Olympic triathlete, competing and winning a silver medal in their shoes. It was an emotionally charged moment, a testament to On's progress. The success of On wasn't confined to the financial realm. The innovative design and unique comfort of the shoes also captured the attention of Swiss tennis legend Roger Federer. And the big breakthrough for On came unexpectedly, when Roger Federer donned their sneakers. Fascinated by On's innovative design and comfort, Federer transitioned from being an admirer to an investor, turning the tides for this humble startup. A chance dinner with the founders kindled Federer's interest in On. He noticed the brand's growing popularity in his homeland, even seeing his wife and friends sport the sneakers. Federer felt an attraction to the design, which he initially found peculiar. The shoe's ubiquitous presence and unique aesthetics gradually sparked a fascination. Federer's connection to On soon became more than casual endorsement. From wearing on sneakers for sprint training to providing product feedback, he was progressively ingrained in the company. The journey of on, fueled by this symbiosis with Federer, reflects a remarkable blend of Swiss precision and global appeal. Today, they stride ahead, carving out their space in the footwear industry. Federer's involvement with on transcends mere investment. As a contributing product designer and representative, he bridges the gap between athletic performance and technical innovation, stirring a disruptive wave in the footwear industry. The founders of On had a vision beyond Swiss borders, and what better ambassador than the most famous Swiss, Roger Federer. With his prodigious sportsmanship and international appeal, Federer brings a new flair to the brand. The intrigue doesn't stop at his Grand Slam titles or the longevity of his career, but extends to his unexpected role as a game changer in the footwear industry. What sets on apart is the unique technology behind their shoes. The rubber hose elements that initially sparked controversy became the heart of its innovation. They provide an unprecedented level of comfort and support by cushioning not only vertical but also horizontal movement. This provides runners with a feeling of running on clouds, which has become a signature sensation. Over the years, On has catered not just to fitness enthusiasts looking for high-performance shoes, but also to those prioritizing style and ethical considerations. The Swiss brand has indeed found traction among culturally obsessed lifestyle consumers, a significant portion of which are based in the US. Bernhard attributes this American success to positive word of mouth and the undeniable strength of On's technology. The pandemic era proved to be surprisingly favorable for On as home workouts became the norm. Their sales tripled in 2020, leading to their public listing in 2021, raising $746 million with a valuation of $7.3 billion. Today, a decade after its inception, On Running Shoes graced the shelves of over 6,500 premium retailers in more than 50 countries, a testament to its global success. The running world has indeed taken notice as On continues to garner international acclaim for its innovative design and pioneering technology. On's ethos stems from the belief that running should be an enjoyable activity, uninhibited by concerns of technique and form. It seeks to reverse the common paradigm of adaptation. Instead of a runner molding their style to fit the shoe, On designed shoes to accommodate the individual foot, enhancing comfort and promoting a natural running style. And that's the story of On, an idea that sprang from a garden hose and turned the running shoe world on its head. From the starting point of a garden hose underfoot to the glistening peak of a $10 billion IPO. On is a testament to how far an idea, no matter how unconventional, can go when fueled by passion and persistence.